We are off and running. Welcome back. Our next guest is an artisan florist and masterful event designer in England and beyond. His impressive resume includes a royal warrant of appointment to the Prince of Wales. We're going to get to that. Well, he is in town to, uh, today, and he's going to be speaking tomorrow morning at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts on designing fall flowers and foliage. We welcome Shane Conley to Virginia this morning. Shane, it is an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Please tell us about this connection to the uh, royals. What does this uh, appointment of uh, warrant mean? A royal warrant of appointment is given to companies as a, as a thank you, basically, for being a loyal uh, part of the team. So I was given that in 2006. Congratulations. From the, the Prince of Wales. And then last year, I got one from the Queen as well. So that's, you haven't mentioned that, but I thought I would drop that in. That's because... You, that's a serious <laughs> name drop when you could do that. The Queen of England. They, the Queen probably doesn't know of my existence, it has to be said. So, you know, we I'm, don't have, to we say don't have we don't tea have or anything. <laughs> But uh, it's a thank you from the household. It's, Did that just arrive in the mail? No, no, no. You know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. She doesn't call you. Yeah, she calls you. It's very embarrassing. No, she doesn't call you. No, she, doesn't call you. <laughs> <laughs> she comes around in person and gives it to you. <laughs> no, tea and crumpets? Leave. No. Just tea. <laughs> just tea. Just tea. No. Uh, that's fantastic. What a great thing on the resume. Um, it's extraordinary. Yeah, very and, lucky um, for an Irishman. <laughs> not bad, I know. Born in Northern Ireland, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, tell us about um, this event that we have and, and why you're here. Okay, so I've been invited here along with another speaker, Ariella Shazar, mm -hmm. uh, who is American, to talk about flowers. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> at this extraordinary event that the museum puts on every two years, I believe. Uh, and I mean, they invite local people to come in and pick a work of art and interpret it in flowers. They ask us to come in and talk about flowers in general. So I'm talking about using, my big thing is using flowers that are available locally that are available seasonally. So that's what I want to talk to people about. Shane, you're an artisan florist. Now, if I'm a, uh, a, a novice florist and I would like to maybe create a bouquet, what, what are some of the tips and advice that you have for somebody um, other than just grabbing some local flowers? Go, go to somebody like me. Go to like, Don't yeah, try. call you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, call me. <laughs> no, my, my tip is to not try too hard. Okay. I think that's what most people do. They look in a book and they think, oh my goodness, I have to really try. It's like cooking. You know, if you're going to cook at home, you're not going to do a jus and a this and a sauce and a reduction, <laughs> unless you're much better cook than I know. Mm -hmm. uh, but your reputation isn't there. <laughs> no. uh, so you, what you do is you keep it simple. Okay. And that's, that's, that's what I think the essence of good entertaining is. It's, it's reducing things to the simplest level so that it's, I never forget those beautiful roses or wasn't that a delicious Interesting. meal. It's not complicated. It's, it's simple. The human mind isn't that intelligent. And I think the more you simplify things, the more, you know, if you have a Much whole more table... more of an impact. More of an impact, so that you don't try to do too many things, not too many aspects. You know, you, 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 there are houses all decorated for Halloween at the moment. The ones that I catch my eye are the ones that have just masses of pumpkins, or the ones that have just some one thing. But when they've got pumpkins and cobwebs and three witches and two boiled babies and you, you lose you just can't get it can you it, it, it can be a little garish when you think oh what was that yeah. <laughs> you want to forget it you want to forget it it's, it's overwhelming mm -hmm. for the for the mind so, so keep it simple what well, are this we doing is, well, here today the big thing that i am excited about here is that you have got the most extraordinary collection of fabergé not you personally, but maybe you do. Have you come to my house? Not no. yet. <laughs> Sweet of you to ask. Uh, the, the, the Fabergé is... Just call is... the Queen. Make sure she comes as well. <laughs> She's waiting. <laughs> She's got the kettle She's boiling. She's in the limo. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the Fabergé is extraordinary. It's beautiful. And the, 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 this, this event is to raise funds for the new Fabergé gallery. So I thought on live television, very daring, I would try to be inspired by Fabergé, and that's a big, tall order because... Well, let's do it. I have some scissors I here for you. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to get this off you. I thought maybe you were going to do it. So, oh, no. the big thing about Fabergé is that he was a master in looking at botanical things as an art. And he, you have here several of his flower studies. They are basically one thing with a flower in it. They're not complicated. Mm -hmm. There's a bowl of lily of the valley. There's an incredible one of berries. And I got these. This is a, a Virginian native. This is a Virginian native ilex, which is a type of holly. So you uh, practice what you preach. You get I the practice local. what I preach. You, literally, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is local. I picked this from, with permission, just to get this straight, from the, the, the gardens of the museum. And this is how simple. I've got a simple container. Beautiful containers help. This is a very pretty container. Shane, do you see the finished product 
as a vision, or are you working no. along with it? I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay. This, is, this could all go wrong. <laughs> Not with you. Well, you don't know. Could cut a finger off or something. Um, this is Artemisia. Again, the other thing about Fabergé, a lot of it was the language and meaning of flowers. So he, he chose things that were for meaning as well as for the look. And things like Artemisia, they, they symbolize absence in the language of flowers because they were part of absinthe the alcoholic drink which made mm -hmm. people go very absent indeed. Um, here are some pansies for loving thoughts. These I picked yesterday. I'm just going to put those. These are simple vases. Simple, small. with water. You know, it's, it's as simple as that. It's not complicated. And I'm just putting them in. I can't actually see what I'm doing because I'm doing it with the camera in front of me. So you can do this with right. your eyes closed, Shane. Who are you Are you, you trying to say I'm not making an effort here? <laughs> so... This last one, what are we going to be choosing for this one? Wow, oh, that's a very hard one, isn't it? I yeah. think I might use some of this beautiful clematis. Okay. Wonderful. Keeping it simple Keeping and beautiful. Keeping it simple, keep, well, hopefully beautiful. I'm going to put that one in there. All right. Shane, it is an absolute pleasure. Keep working here. We Thank have some you. information yeah. right here. Shane Conley is giving this lecture of designing fall flowers and foliage tomorrow, October 20th. It's at 10 o'clock at Leslie Cheek Theater at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. Shane's book signing will be held in the atrium at 2 p.m. WTVR.com slash VTM is where you will find a link to all of the details. Shane, thank you so much. It's an absolute Hi. pleasure. This should be on a canvas. It's beautiful. <laughs> You're too kind. Thank you very much. Welcome to the States. Thank you.